Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. I'm over here at Union Street Antiques and Collectibles. And what's great about stores like this is you never know what you're gonna find. I've actually purchased the Dungeons and Dragons Fortress of Fang here, Police Academy figures, um, a Batman racetrack, which was pretty cool. So what do you say, let's go inside and check this out. So let's do this. Let's see here, what can we find? Looks like some vintage uh, wind-ups here. Look at that, Felix the Cat, that's kind of cool. Santa Claus. Oh, that's pretty uh, fun, huh? That looks really old. All right, let's look over here. Some Jawas, that's cool. $15 Jawas. And there's a hefty Smurf, I love the hefty Smurf. I'd love to get that in my collection, but don't want to pay 30 bucks right now. Some Joes. So take a look at the G.I. Joes. Not too bad prices, right? Oh, look at that. That is a pretty cool figure there. That is the Mattel Pulsar. I have that one. That one's cool. Open up his chest. You can see the blood flow through his veins and his uh, lungs pump up some vintage uh, Ninja Turtles. I'm assuming they're vintage and not the repos, right? Yeah, look at the stickers from uh, the Toy Works. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but yeah. Pretty cool. Some games. Some more figures down here. Sailor Moon. Here is a Transformer figure. Hunger. All right, let's look over here. Anything over here? Some records. Janet Jackson, look at that. Who remembers that? That's a cool, cool uh, record cover. Laughing, look at laughing. Some cassettes, Eric Clapton. All right, let's go over here. Oh, that's kind of cool. These are not necessarily vintage figures. More modern figures. This seller has a few different sections here. And this is more the modern. Look at that Luke. That is uh, like the Galaxy Adventure Luke. That's kind of cool. We got a sh uh, Fred Scooby-Doo figure. Some Rumblers. Wrestling figures. Gumby, Care Bear, that looks like a, from Oswald, right? The penguin, except for that one's blue. Yeah, nothing that I'm looking for there. These are kinda cool. Cyclops and Wolverine. All right, this is more of the vintage stuff. Oh, look at this, Bernstein Bears. That's pretty cool, huh? Like ceramic figures. Who remembers the, the Bernstein Bears? My daughter watched that. Uh, Rugrats. The Ring Announcer series. Mean Gene Oakland. Is that Goldberg? <laughs> yeah, look at that Goldberg figure. We have a Furby. That's kind of cool. 60 bucks for Furby. A lightsaber here. Anakin's. New Kids on the Block. We have some Smurfs. Right, California Raisins. There's Smurfette. Some Motu. A Snake Man. Over there. Some loose Star Wars figures. Not sure, is that Power Rangers back there? Sequest, a bunch of Sequest figures still. There's Darwin, remember the dolphin? I had that one back in the day. They got that guy back there. It's like the whole set. The whole set of Sequest figures. It's kind of cool. I think there's more on this side, right? 
yeah, there we go. A couple more over here. And these are like 10 bucks a piece. I think there's a Roy Scheider over here, right? There's the kid. Yeah, there's Roy. Roy Scheider. That one's tempting. Let's put this back. Here. Put this one here. Look at the Mickey Mouse Club. Some more vintage Star Wars here. There is a loot, uh, I mean a Yoda. It's like the, the ugly looking Yoda. Tailspin. 25 bucks for Tailspin. And that is Dump Truck, I believe. Some Star Wars. Vintage Star Wars. A Matrix figure back here. Who is that? You see him right there? I don't want to take everything out. This is a, a G.I. Joe 2010 figure right there. That's pretty cool. You see that? And a Big Bird Puppet 2003. Ronald McDonald. And some other plushies. Some games and movies. VHS, Rocky, I think I see Rocky back there. So nothing that I need, but still pretty cool. You turn around, there's a bunch of loose stuff over here. Let's see, oh look at that. It's Wonder Woman, Porky Pig, Wonder Woman. That's the girl Porky Pig. I don't remember her name. It's always kind of fun just looking through look at episode one cup. I mean, uh, bowl. Some other vintage 30% off sale in this bin. And there's a Pee Wee Herman right here. Look at Talking Pee Wee. 49 bucks for that. It's a little, that's pretty cool though. A little dirty, but not too bad. Oh, look at the uh, a, a Rambo. I don't have Rambo, but this one's pretty beat. And especially for 18 bucks. That's way too much for that. But these, these, uh, this Viewmaster thing's cool. I like this. I have this at home. I like that. ET Lunchbox. 125 bucks. What? I guess that's the going rate, huh? I don't know. And some, uh, Black Series. All right, let's, let's uh, there's a Snoopy. Oh, Snarf, look at Snarf. So this is the Snarf, pretty much what I was talking about. Like the one you always find is just a little Snarf. That's kind of cool. Eight bucks for that, really? Popeye game, that's cool. I think I have this one for the Atari. Barnstorming. Look at this little uh, recorder, that's kind of cool. A pound puppy, I'm not sure if it's old or new. 10 bucks. There's some Popeye and all of figures. There's a, oops, wasn't me. All right, let's go on. Some Wizard of Oz figures a little overpriced. Set. Oh, three-piece set lot for 40 bucks. Well, I guess that's not too bad, right? I mean, they're not in the greatest condition, but 40 bucks, they're not too too bad. And then a Creature from the Black Lagoon. And Gort the Robot. That's kind of cool, huh? How much is that? I don't see a price on it. Ziggy's of the World Unite. That's a book. Who remembers Ziggy? Here's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. There's a Yoda. 3PO. It's like McDonald toys or something. Yeah. Some old army vehicles, I think. I, they, I'm not sure how old they are, but... Kinda cool. 
We used to play with a bunch of these army men back in the day. Like these little fake. Look at they got their names on it. Little hand grenades and stuff. Does that say G.I. Joe on it? It does. Look at that. G.I. Joe. Four bucks. Huh. I don't think that was a G.I. Joe. That's cool. Let me know if you know anything about that. Look at this G.I. Joe, like, kid vest. It's like a vest and a belt. That's got to be from the 70s, I would assume, right? Three bucks. Vest and belt. Not sure what year these came from, huh? Huh, look at that. That thing's cool. It's like a, uh, marine weapons holder or something. But these, uh, G.I. Joe items are pretty unique. Kinda cool. It's a vintage Lone Ranger costume. That's pretty cool. 65. Some helmets. Kids helmets, seven bucks. Little figurines, plastic figurines. They're actually not little. Pretty big size. Look at that. And then this uh, army ration can bag. Pretty cool. Awesome. Really cool stuff, huh? So I think I'm gonna get these two items here because I think they because they have GI Joe on them and they're definitely like 70s or 60s. I think. I mean, they look pretty cool and old. We have a ton of records here. Is that Dolly Parton right there? Let's see here. I know this one has a lot of toys over here, so in books. See if there's anything that pops out. Uh, Raza, some posable gremlin figures. Those are kind of cool. Pennywise. Hess trucks. Let me know if you collect Hess trucks. I know uh, a few people that did. Pink Panther board game. Look at that. Star Wars Clue. That's cool. I love Clue. Wow, look at that thing. Wow, that is pretty cool. Look at that. Did you know this thing existed? I just love the table. The, like the display is pretty awesome. Huh. How much is this thing? Let's see a price on it. 20 bucks. Yeah, I think I'll pass on it, but it is cool. So let me know what do you think of that. And Pink Panther game 25. Jeez. Way too much, man. But I'll definitely have to look into this one. I like that. The Clue Star Wars game. This Luna Space uh, Landing, first Luna Landing model. That's kind of cool. 20 bucks for that. They got a Mastermind handheld game and a couple of vintage turtles there. A little beat up, but still pretty cool. This Battlestar Galactica LP album. That's pretty cool. I love the image. That's almost 40 bucks. Kind of cool. Some board games. Mall Madness. There's a Viewmaster. Wow. I kind of need a uh, vintage Viewmaster. But not for 40 bucks. There's a uh, Charlie Brown figure. Well, was that like Linus? Probably should have a blanket or something, right? Some Ninja Turtle cards. Four bucks. Come on. 
I mean, is that a good price for these? Vintage card packs, $4 each. Here we have some uh, Atari games. So, Matt, Zero Toy Hunter. Here's some vintage Atari games. So we have Barnstorming, Vanguard, Football, Combat, Asteroids, Super Breakout, Video Olympics, Warlords, Defender, Real Sports Baseball, Target Run, Target Fun, I mean, Home Run, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Tennis, Circus Atari, I love Circus Atari, that one's fun, Space Invaders, Breakout, 21 Video Olympics, Video Chess, Star Raiders, Casino, Laser Blast, Night Driver, Bowling, and Dodge Em. So, pretty cool. And a holder. So, that's kind of cool. And then, oh, we have uh, Tron Deadly Discs. And so, there's Tron Deadly Discs for 10 bucks. And Video Pinball, sorry. And Fathom. And Ice Hockey. So there you go, there's some Atari games. Oh, more right here. What is this one? This one, Adventures of Tron. Never heard of that one. 10 bucks for that. Phoenix, Star Master, Ice Hockey, Frogs and Flies, Journey Escape, Stampede, Cosmic Arc, Barnstorming Again, River Raid, Demon Attack, and which one's that one? Another Circus Atari. So I think the Tron ones are pretty cool. Adventures of Tron. So I don't know. I mean, it's a different... Would this fit on the 2600? I don't know. And then the uh, Deadly... Tron Deadly Discs is pretty cool. So not too bad. Atari games. And a bunch of... Uh, VHS... Not really into VHS too much. I do have some, but nothing that stands out that I'd want. Ooh, I need that one. I need that one and this one. How much are they? What? A set of four for a hundred bucks? Ah, come on. I don't want to pay a hundred bucks for that, so. But it's 20% off, but still, was that 80 bucks? Yeah, I'm not paying 80 bucks for those glasses, but it is pretty cool. And they have the Empire, Star Wars, and Jedi. And those are pretty cool. I wish I could just buy, well, I'd need them all, actually. Because <laughs> I don't have any of them. But this one was always my favorite, with Darth Vader and Grim Moff Tarkin on it. Definitely my favorite one. Cool. Bunch of old looking cars, huh? S street sweeper. Hub Country Highways. Super Loop Set, Johnny Lightning. A hundred bucks for that? Dang. Here we have a bunch of Gundams here, I guess. That's what it says on it, Gundam. Like this one says Gundam. That's kind of cool. I think some Joes over here, too. These are like beat up, pretty, pretty beat up, but... Still pretty cool. Power Ranger figure. And what's this one? That's a cool robot, huh? Let me take him out and check him out. Well, the bag is kind of sealed, but this is what it is. Adventure uh, People X-Ray Firestar. So this is Adventure People. So look at that head, if you can see it in there. Let's see if I can... It's hard to see it, but... Kind of cool, different. Some miscellaneous stuff here, but here we have. That was. Is that. What's that movie? The karate movie? I can't remember it. But that's a pretty cool figure. 
some alligators and dinosaurs. Is that Dennis the Menace? There's a fist. I think that's um Who is that? That is it's a piggy bank. Look at that. Hellboy. Hellboy piggy bank. Look at this cool brontosaurus, that's cool. It's not plastic, it's like ceramic or something. And we have some, I think those are from the 80s, like the Wolfman and Bride. Superstars, Ultimate Warrior. Always believe. Mad Magazine, Obama, the first 100 minutes. Hmm, pretty cool. Some pretty cool weapons here. Some vintage stuff smurfs. I think they're vintage. There's another Felix the Cat. So do you remember Felix the Cat? I used to watch this back in the day. It's pretty cool. I think they're asking 15, 15 bucks. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. So here's a Ouija mystical talking board game. So it's a talking Ouija board? Hmm. That's different. In 1978, Popeye and Olive Chalkboard. That's pretty cool. I like that. 24 bucks. I don't like that price, but it is pretty cool. It has a puzzle, Looney Tunes puzzle. Bugs Bunny and Sylvester and Tweety. Yeah, I like looking at like old stuff like this. It's pretty cool. Not that I need to buy it, but it's just cool to look at. I have no idea. It looks like a wrestling figure. I mean, little stuffed animal guy. Not an animal, but you know what I mean. Huh, it's kind of cool. Right there. You are what you eat. Godfield said it, not me. I mean, this, this uh, place has like a ton of like little miscellaneous knickknacks and stuff all over the place. Here's a whole set of Marvin Martian figures. Bunch of McDonald toys and stuff. There's a stuffed job of the hut up there. I wonder what that's from. Let's see what that says. It's kind of cool. Some more records here. Jetson's first family on the moon. The Marx Brothers. The Monkey's headquarters. I just love the covers. The covers are awesome. Look at that weird piece of folk art idea. <laughs> Ceramic Sylvester and Tweety over here. Let's see, eight bucks for that. A whole bunch of Snoopy items here. Look at that Snoopy in Africa. Snoopy here. It's like a gumball machine or something. Some figurines. Like counting, They're probably like birthday toppers or something, right? Catch 'em bobbers. It's like uh, for fishing. So there's Snoopy and his Mickey Mouse. This set's kind of cool, like a Christmas set. Push the button, it lights up. I think this came out years ago. I think I seen it at, like Toys R Us back in the day. Uh, like a sombrero. Things big, huh? How much is that? 30 bucks. Vintage sombrero. It's kind of fun, huh? Oh, shoot. Here's an Undertaker figure here. 
Look at that. It's kind of cool. Hmm. Don't you hate it when that happens? Check out this uh, R2-D2 light. So it looks like you can kind of attach it to the wall. So it looks like he's coming out of the wall. That's pretty fun. Look at these uh, Snoopy McDonald glasses. Set of five for 60 bucks. And some vintage little people. Fisher Price sets the airport for 20 bucks and 20 bucks for this. And I, I had this too. I think this is, a, is this the same one that was at um, Full Moon Toys and Collectibles? It might be. And then this place has like a bunch of vintage cars and Tonka trucks and stuff. Like, look at this rusty one, and this is 25 bucks for this one. 15 for that. 20% off. Oh, I really like the Pretty cool. And a bunch over here. Crazy, huh? I think that one's what, 20 bucks up there? And look at this, more McDonald glasses here. It looks like it's... Oh, they have... There's the, uh... The pirate guy. This is... The Mayor McCheese, I think. The police... The sheriff guy. But, yeah, kind of cool to see, like, a bunch of these vintage McDonald glasses. Some vintage Fred and Barney figures. From the movie. Ten bucks a piece. And here is the first choice in nutrition. So this is what Flintstone vitamins. Is there anything in it? There you go. And... Yeah. That's pretty much it. Everything else is like cheap toys. You know, like cheap Lego sets type of thing. Best lock. You know. Marvel's Rising Secret Warriors. Never heard of it. Very nice. Look at that thing. Searchlight beam, loudspeaker, and microphone. Electronically controlled. That thing's pretty cool, huh? Includes four batteries. Remco. 75 bucks for that thing. What was that, like, used for? That's definitely old. But it is kind of cool. Never seen it before. This is what the Nestle chocolate milk, yeah, Nestle quick, pretty cool. A bunch of little people and accessories, including right down here is Mr. Hooper. A few Sesame Street ones in there and pretty cool, a bunch of ones down here. And then there's some Star Wars figures and that Obi one Kenobi's not too bad looking. So that was pretty cool. A lot of unique items. Um, the Star Wars glasses were really good, but what, 80 bucks? I wasn't about to spend 80 bucks for the four glasses at this time, but I did get the G.I. Joe vest in that brown uh, handgun for $7. I think that's a pretty fun deal. They're probably from what, the 60s? Maybe early 70s, but, uh, and some of the comps on eBay, I don't know if that's true, but that, that's crazy. But let's go over collect these, see what they have. And there is Collectiques right across the street. Let's see if there's anything good. Gotta watch for traffic. Alright, they still have the uh, Gremlin display here. Check out this Gremlin display. 
Look at that, that's pretty fun, huh? There's the uh, the robber. That one's cool. Yeah, fun. And there's Mark, the owner. Crazy. But yeah, let's see what's in the window. Anything good? So I'm, I probably won't show everything. Petster. I never heard of that. Electronic pet with a mind of its own. Huh. Twenty-five bucks. That's kind of a good price for something that big. But let's go inside and see what they have. Before we even get in, look at they have some uh, Princess Bride figures. Those are 25, 35 bucks a piece. Ouch. Um, some Kiss figures. Some G.I. Joe vehicles. But let's go inside and see what's in here. Hey, Mark. Oh, is that a uh, Rambo figure there that uh, I might need? <laughs> Pretty cool. He's in a little bit better shape. Some cool figures. More gargoyles there. Still have the Shogun Warriors here. A little pricey for some people, I think. Here we have some Police Academy figures. Oh, Biker Mice from Mars. I'm not sure if that's the one I have. Might be. Some trolls back there. And they do have a Sectors with the wings. I do need the wings, but... Some vintage Star Trek figures there. Look at that, that's kinda cool. Looks like, what, 150 bucks for that? What's that thing in the cape? Oh, look at that. That's the uh, the one with the wheels with the claws on it. I can't remember the name of it, but that's pretty cool. Look at that thing. That thing's awesome. That is Voltron. A few figures on it. 75 bucks they're asking for that. I don't know if that's a good deal, but it's pretty cool. I don't have any Voltron figures. So this is called Animal. Look at that, they have a boo-boo. It looks like from the movie version, right? We have Scrappy-Doo there. Talking E.T. figure, that's kind of cool. I think I have that E.T. Oh, that's cool, Tom and Jerry. That's a cool set. These things, these were like Smurfs, right? These troll things. Those are cool. Looks like they still have some Joes here. So here's Fast Draw, Croc Master. Let me see, I'll take it down. So 25 for Fast Draw, 30 for Croc Master. We have uh, Zap, 120. Oh, here's the Chariot that is pretty cool, 120 for that. That's a uh, Cobra Emperor with the serpent. Yeah, that's awesome. So here's for the Power Ranger fans. Some pretty cool stuff here. I'm not sure what's vintage and what's modern, but pretty cool. Ninja Turtles. That's a traveling case. Oh, there's a large turtle back there. Missing some stuff. Oh, Ghostbuster Firehouse. How much is that? Let's see if I can zoom it in. Can't really make it out, can you? I guess they like 200 bucks. I don't know. A bunch of turtles in here. Dino turtle. Sorry for the glare. Bunch of signed stuff here too. Some mass vehicles and 
the figures. Those are pretty good, huh? 30 bucks, not too bad, right? 40 bucks for this one. For that one. Let me, I don't know if I'm still zoomed in. Let me, yeah, there we go. Yeah, pretty cool. How to shoot. Oh, some pogs, vintage pogs. I'm not sure what those things are. They kind of look like toxic something. Not toxic crusaders, but Lord of the Rings. Yeah, pretty cool. Man, these willow figures have been here forever. They are cool though. I do have a couple, I picked up a couple here. They did have willow himself at one time. Um, I wish I got them when I had the chance, but I think they were asking like 20 bucks. I didn't want to pay 20, but I think it's a pretty good deal. Should have got them. Here's some vintage Motu in modern stuff here. Pretty cool. Some more Motu here. And let's see here. Snake Man back there is pretty awesome. There's some Thundercats. Thundercats are awesome. Gray Skull. Skeletor Staff. I've had that for a little while too. Transformers. I think these are pretty much a lot of them are vintage, right? They're asking 300 for that. Optimus Prime. Ouch. Some mini ones. Again, I don't really know a lot about Voltron and Transformers, so. These are pretty cool though. Here's a carrying playset, episode one. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's awesome, actually. Look at that. It's like the final battle with Obi-Wan and Darth Maul. And they're asking 25 for it. Some uh, other figures here. The guy kind of looks like Robocop, huh? G.I. Joe. That's going to be vintage, right? Pretty cool. Not sure how much that is. And here's this uh, crazy Yoda lamp. I think they're asking like a hundred bucks for this. It's pretty cool. Harry Potter figures. Some lunchbox and G.I. Joe figures. Look at this pretty cool scenic ridge. I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's massive. And a bunch of Star Wars here. Vehicles. Again, more loose vintage. And some modern in here, I think. I think that size noodle is modern, right? I'm not sure. Is that mo the modern or the vintage? She looks like she might be missing some pieces on her. And then some vintage, including that that card, 3PO card. I don't think that's the uh, misprint one, right? Is it? Yeah, actually, it might be. And some other vintage. That Luke back there looks pretty good, huh? It looks almost too good. Yeah, it looks too good. I wonder if it's vintage or modern. Huh. Small vehicles and stuff. And some more figures, stained glass. 
There's your Jabba dungeon back there. And the Death Star Escape micro set. Hmm. A lot of things I've seen before. I'm trying to see if there's anything I haven't seen yet or shown you before. There's some vintage Chewbacca back there. Mayfix uh, Boba Fett for 40 bucks. Jar Jar toothpaste and uh, looks like bubble bath or something. Hmm. Some episode one like wall stickers I think. Pretty cool. Glow in the dark. That Darth Maul glass set is pretty cool. Uh, Chewbacca. Oh, here's this set. Oh, wow, look at that set. That is cool, man. Look at that. It's a Pez handler. That's crazy. I like that. So, yeah, check that out. That is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. They're asking 35 bucks for it. I don't really want to pay 35 bucks for it. So I think I'm gonna pass, but it is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Some larger Star Wars figures out there. That Luke Skywalker with all the gear is pretty cool, huh? The More carded figures. Here is a little Annie. Look at that Jar Jar with his tongue. Look at Smee Skywalker. Oh, that Chewbacca is cool. I have that one. There's a Jango Fett back there. Gungan Warrior. Lando. Leia. General Leia, I do believe. Queen Amidala in her black outfit. Yeah, pretty cool. Ton of stuff here. Let's see. <laughs> there is Perkins. Porkins, I mean. Yeah, pretty cool. And a bunch of other Star Wars carded figures. Oh, this is a good, good setup here. Queen Amidala from Genosis, right? There's a Count Dooku back there. Young Boba Fett back there. Sorry, it's really hard to go through all these figures, so. There's another Yoda and a bunch of Bendoms. So who remembers this remote control R2-D2? That's pretty cool. But look at all the carded figures here. Quite a few. Power of the Force and Episode 1 figures. R2-D2 over there. Those are kind of cool. I don't know what those are from. Looks like they're missing some pieces, maybe. I don't know. One's dirty, one's clean. And then the vintage one. So, Oakhurst is a, looks near complete Chewbacca. So, Vern, let me know if you're interested in that. And an Ewok village. And a bunch of Marvel figures here. Those Venom figures are kind of cool. Up top. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. That is the Swamp Thing toys. Oh, those are cool. And I just picked up a couple of Swamp Thing figures. I'll have to look into those. Not that big. Oh, 25 bucks for all of them. That's not too bad. That's it. Ooh, we have uh, Zorro. Is that a vintage Zorro? 19, I don't know, is that 1981? Zorro figures? I just says it because I do stutter. And then we have some Robocop figures. 35 bucks for those. Planet of the Apes and some Ghost Rider figures, sorry. And is that like Street Fighter there? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Some pretty cool stuff in here, huh? The Robocop figures are pretty cool. Nobody that really stands out that I'd need. The Zorro figures are tempting. As well as these figures. I think I'm... There's only like... Two figures that I have. Out of those, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get them. I don't want to pay 25 bucks for them. But they are cool. Bunch of spawn figures. And over here is, I think, horror. 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 Oh, I like that. I want to get that set, but they have that at Target. Here's my bloody Valentine. I haven't seen this one yet. Those are cool. Oh, here we go. Look at these. These are 40 bucks each. Ouch. Look at that. That's awesome. It's kind of like a reaction, but they're not reaction. I don't believe. So there is Lori. These, the cards are incredible, huh? The figures, I think, kind of look better than the better than the uh, Super 7 reaction figures. It's Linda. Linda looks great. The cards are super cool. But for 40 bucks, ouch. For these Halloween masks and kitten, including G.I. Joe. That would go pretty good with my uh, setup, don't you think? With the things I just bought at the store across the street. I don't know what they're asking for these, but it's kind of cool. Check out this Tonka Power Ship Mountain Master. So this thing's got to be pretty old, like 70s, 80s. The box looks kind of old, but when it says you use three D cell batteries, you know it's got to be old, because I don't think any toys have D batteries anymore, do they? Some vintage alien. And I think that's pretty much it. Some more spawn figures and stuff, but nothing that stands out. There's another Pee Wee Playhouse for 75 bucks. But yeah, that Mario sign up there is kind of cool. And I think that's pretty much it. That was pretty cool. They had some good stuff in there. The Swamp Thing figures, I was definitely interested in that. I didn't grab them. Um, there's only three of them I needed from it. Maybe another time I'll grab them. The Zorro figures, those were definitely cool. Not a bad price. 20 bucks, I think, was a pretty decent price. I don't think the sword was his originally, original sword. I did a little searching online. I found a carded one, and it didn't match up. But still pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of good stuff, but... I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone. So I think this is the same G.I. Joe vest that's on eBay for like 200 bucks. Um, I can't imagine this actually would sell for $200. But it's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, it, it's a fun little piece to add to the collection.